Good morning and welcome to Easy Drupal. It's been a while, sorry, I've had a few things going on. So today we're going to be looking at setting up the Drupal API. Um, this can be used for things such as Angular, Vue, the other JavaScript library, can't remember what it's called, React, that's the one. So I'm, I'm myself, I'm actually learning Vue at the moment um, and I want to be able to use it with Drupal as a what they call a headless CMS. So a headless CMS is a content management system where the front end is not provided by the CMS. So in this case, this site here that we're looking at is my demo site or my um, family archive site. It's basically ideal for this sort of thing. It's a whole list of, of vehicles that uh, were built in our factory back in the early 1900s and onwards. The idea of a headless CMS is that the CMS provides the content and the management of, of the content. So the users, the content types and all of that stuff. So the headless bit is that it doesn't do the front end presentation. So you wouldn't see what you're seeing now. You can do both. You can have the headless running alongside the, the normal Drupal theme. And you might do that if you had like a mobile version or a, you know, a, a touch screen museum guide, that sort of thing. So it's basically, it can, it's one set of content that can be consumed by many different consumers. So it's sometimes called distributed Drupal as well, because Drupal for, provides the content and then any, anyone else can help themselves, assuming they've got the correct access permissions. So we're going to set that up today. I am learning this myself, so I'm not, not claiming to be an expert. I'm actually going to be learning Vue.js, which I'll take you on that journey once I get a bit further down the road. So initially, we just want to set up an API for those consumers to read. So it's done using a couple of Drupal modules that are in core. So JSON API, which is the one that provides the actual JSON that you'll be reading, and serialization, which is a Symfony module or symph that uses the Symfony serialization uh, to sort of uh, convert that content into JSON or, and other formats. Okay, so let's get started and enable that module. So if we go to the extend section, so this is our list of modules and if we go to JSON API, we'll find the API module. You see it's not enabled because it is not as standard. It requires the serialization module. Um, so we can either do that and install here as it's already there, or we can use the command line and just uh, use Drush EN JSON API like so. I'll put all of these commands down below so that you can do that but as I say it's part of Drupal 9 you don't have to install anything uh, just need to basically enable it so let's enable that so the serialization module needs to be installed because it's a dependency of the JSON API module so we say yes we'll continue okay so we have installed the two modules JSON API and serialization and they're now ticked so we are now ready to go so the way that the API works is that there is a standard URL that you can use. So the URL that we use is this one. It's JSON API, which is the root of, of the API. Uh, the type of uh, entity that we're looking for, which is node, and then the content type or the bundle type, which in this case is vehicle. If we hit return, that should give us some JSON with, uh, I'm using the pretty uh, plug in for Chrome. So that gives us a list of all of our vehicles. You'll see the type is node dash vehicle or dash dash vehicle. The ID, it doesn't use a node ID, it uses a UUID, uh, which is created by Drupal when the node is created, and all the other information about each of the nodes. So this one is just one big long list of every, every vehicle node on the site. Now, obviously that's useful, but it doesn't actually help you filter down if you want to do presentation. So the next thing we do is start to add some filters to this URL. And for that, we use a tool called Postman to help us build those queries. If you haven't uh, used Postman, it's really, really useful. Uh, let's just set that up for you. Okay, so this is Postman with our basic get URL in here. So this returns every node of type vehicle with no filters. The beauty of Postman is you can use these key things here to add your own filters and in the next video we'll go into that a bit deeper but if I was just do a straight send on that it will send the request to the API and then return 
the same information that we saw in the web browser. But it's a very good tool for doing development stuff. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. On the next one, as I say, we will just explore using some of these filters to try and drill down to individual vehicles and that sort of thing. Okay, thanks for watching. See you soon.